Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Kenworth W900B Long Edition. Now, uh, this one here, it's been a while since we've seen an update for this, but this is the actual latest update. And I'll just spin it round so we can have a look at this. This is basically a Kenworth W900 with a massive big house on the back. It's a massive sleeper, it looks like a house. So let's jump into the actual customized configuration and check it out. So let's see, one cab for the start there. We've got uh, chassis is one, the 6x4. The engine, we have got the Cat C13 380, 435. It goes all the way up to the Cat C15 600 with a cert. Um, we'll leave it on that there. I, I'm hoping that the 380 will be able to pull something. Now, for the gearboxes, we have the Spicer, the 6-speed there, which is the uh, PSO1406A, so the 6-speed, the 10-speed. 10 speed with retarder, 14 speed, 14 speed with retarder, and the 18 speed. Let's chuck the 18 speed on there. Works really nice with my uh, Eaton Fuller configuration. If you, and if you're after that Eaton Fuller configuration that I use, head on over to the Junior Senior website and go to the downloads page, and it's right up the very top, which is uh, jnrsnr.net.au. Uh, now, for the interior, let's have a quick look around. That looks pretty schmick. I'm very keen to see what the American Truck Simulator uh, uh, W900 looks like when it does come out, which is going to be very interesting. So there we are, that's what it looks like. Very nice indeed. Now, uh, unfortunately, only one interior to choose from, but you can actually get more interiors from uh, other mod sites. You can add interiors there. Now, custom colors. Let's see. The custom colors, they work by the looks of it. There we go can have a bright pink one if you want. Oh, look at that. Bright pink. Ooh. Uh, but other than that, we have Black Knight. We have Celestial Blue. We have Dark Scarlet, Deep Aquamarine, Deep Basalt, Emerald Green, Perfect White, which looks pretty good, and Royal Grey. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it on the blue. I don't know. I think the white, actually. Let's put the white on. That looks really nice. Actually, that would make really good for a massive big billboard on the side of a, your truck there. Now, here is everyone's favorite part, especially mine, the accessories. Now, let's have a look what bumpers can we get. We can get the Texas Rolled End. We get the uh, Texas Rolled End 2. And uh, what's the difference there? You can see, oh, yeah, it's bigger and it's got it's just missing the bumper guide. It's got the lights going across. I think that one looks nice. Standard Bumper and American Eagle. Well, I'm going to have to go with the Texas. Texas Roll Down. I think that looks a lot better. The Texas Roll Down. That's my really bad Texan accent. It's probably making a lot of people sick right now. But that's all right. Uh, now, we actually have the uh, rubber duck there for the hood ornament. We've got the flying goddess. And we've also got the, uh, what is it? It says bugler hood ornament. Uh, that's a swan, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a swan. Now, I've seen, in Australia, I've seen this with, uh, it's got the wings there that are actually, uh, light up. Or there's the older version of it, which doesn't. It's just, uh, like, plastic, and the rest is chrome, which looks really, really good. Uh, there is the actual, uh, it's the wind deflector. Oh, that one looks terrible. Oh, that one's definitely better. Now on the side there, what do we have? The mirrors. You can put the mirrors on. I suggest that with this truck we put the mirrors on because uh, it's going to be evil enough as it is. Now, what do we have down there? What is that? Oh, that is oh, lights that go all the way across there. So that's pretty cool. Up there is the air, air cleaner. Now... That there is, it's just you get one sun visor there, which is pretty cool. I wouldn't want the other one anyway. And there we can actually put anchor points there for the air horns. So what do we get? We get thunder. And we get thunder again. Or you can go and put, uh, you know, your lumen chrome spotlights on there. Now the mirrors, you only get one mirror to choose from. 
back down there, that is, yeah, that's fine. And up the top here, you get an air conditioner. Why you would not want to have an air conditioner in this would be on me. It would be so dang hot. So let's put, uh, let's put some lights on the front there. There we go. Now, uh, up the back here, that is the spoiler. Yeah, I think that looks cool with a spoiler. Got to put that on. Now, down to the wheels. What wheels do we have? Well, looks like you can choose any standard wheel that you want to put on there. So, there is pretty much all of those. I think the American Dream or the Raven. Uh, I'm going to go with the American Dream for this one. Now, back over here. Um, uh, let's go standard and standard. Now, the tires that you get are just the standard tires within the game that you normally get. Now, spinning around, there's that tag there. This is, you get a uh, frame mount steps, which will spin it around so we can see it a bit better. There's the frame mount steps there. Or, you can go a step toolbox, which I actually like that better. The tool, a little toolbox. And there is the actual Palmia logo on the back there, which we've seen many times before which still looks pretty good on there. Now, spinning around here, there is the wheel guards, if we can just get in the right angle. So the fenders, so you get just the standard fender, half fender, or you get the full chrome. Now for me, I think the full chrome one does that. Full radius fender definitely does that for me. Thank you very much. Now those little marks there are the wheels, that there is the toolbox, there's the, the tires, tires, wheels, wheels, that's the guard there, now over there is the mirror, you need as many mirrors as you can possibly get on this truck, but there we go, that is pretty much it for the outside, it does not look like I've missed anything or have I, no, there we go, that is it. Let's go on the inside and see what we have. Let's see. There is there's the mirror. That's the air cleaner. And there is the mirror on the outside. Those there is the that that's there. That's you know the other bits we've already had a look at. There's the bull bar or the front bumper. Right. That there is that is a spot we missed on the front, is it? Aha. No, that's the strip. Where is that? Is it not showing? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so it shows up in here, but doesn't show up out there. So that's interesting. Maybe I just can't see it. Well, there it is there. Oh, hang on. I see. I see. I see what it is. Let me go back outside here. There we go, there's the, the bumper and now it shows up, right, okay, so we can put on a bull bar on the side there, a bull bar there, which looks absolutely stupid, why you would put that there is beyond me, let's put a bumper guide there, and another bumper guide there, but that is it, um, yep, um, yeah, those bull bars would have been nice if there was a dot there for it, but I'm not sure what's happened. Am I missing something? I don't know. Anyway, let's go back in here. We'll skip that one. We'll just ignore it. Some cabin accessories would have been nice. Um, and there is that. No, no cabin accessories. Nothing. That is it. So let's confirm. And let's do a trade-in on the last one. Now, this works with the latest patch, the 1.22 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. And hopefully they'll convert this over to American trucks. Now that did not take long to load at all. That was actually really, really quick. Sorry for scratching my nose then. I had to do it. Oh, you can see on the inside there's a whole fridge in there and everything. A big fridge. Now watch as we go across from the front. We'll probably go through the front of the cab. And you'll get to see the uh, inside there. Whoa, there's the dashes. There's all, oh, look at that back there. That looks awesome. I think this looks like a really, really cool truck. But is it good enough for the weekly drive? Well, that's up to you guys, so make sure you vote. Right, let's have a quick flick around and have a look. Uh, that's as far as I can go. Uh, there's a jacket up there, there's a fridge, there's a computer, there's 
there's a whole house in there, really. Maybe the bunks fold down so you can go to sleep. I can't seem to see... I uh, can't seem to spin around to see if there's anything else, but that's pretty much it. Let's jump on the outside and have a look. A lot of detail in there. It makes it look very nice indeed. See, that is very, very cool. Wow, it's been a long time since we had a look at this. Now, let's go and start her up. That is very cool. Now, uh, this is at the Calais dealer, guys, before I forget. Uh, a lot of people ask me, where did you get that from? Well, it's Calais dealer, this one. Whenever we do a, a sneak peek, um, you can always look in the top left-hand corner to see exactly where we are. So that's, that's that. That's cool. Let's check out the lights, see if they work. Yes. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look very nice? This with the Coca-Cola truck trailer would be awesome. Right, there we go. High beams work, yes. Uh, what about the horn? Oh, that's cool. Wipers. Oh, it's got double setting as well, so there's the second setting. Is it triple? Oh, no, it's just no. It's one setting and that's intermittent or nothing. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Let's jump on the inside. That is very nice. Look at that lit up. No switches work. I was just looking to see if any switches work there. No. Indicator, yep. And the... Yep, that works. But you can't really see that too well. It's very small. But anyway, it still looks good. So let's go and take this for a spin. Or check out the gears. Yes, there's 17. And there is actually 18 there. Right there. There we go. So, now let's take it for a spin. Has it changed for the better or for the worse? Now, it's going to be really tricky driving this around. I'm going to turn that way, actually. Come on, mate, go. Uh, the turning circle is very large on this. Listen to that. That is nice. Very nice sound. Right, now, let's... Just listen to that. Now, um, that is actually a very, very nice sound there. It's actually really loud. I might turn that down a tad. Sorry about that, guys. A bit loud, but anyway. Uh, now, let's see the turning around here. I mean, it is going to be tricky turning with a trailer. It really would be. This is very cool to drive. Uh, I've got the actual... Got the banana brake going there, but nothing's, nothing's coming through, so they haven't fixed that. That's a shame. So still needs a bit of work to get it up to scratch to where it should be. But it's still pretty damn good. Now let's let's go. Well, this is really cool guys. Now, if you would like to see me drive this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Uh, put a comment in in the comments below. Put yes, I would like to see this in the weekly drive or no, I would not like to see this in the weekly drive. And it all depends on how many votes it gets. And if it gets so many if it gets the most votes, then we drive it. That's pretty much it. But this is an awesome truck to drive. I'm having a lot of fun driving this. And, uh, well, um, yeah, it's going to be good. So this week, guys, uh, we're going to have a an early... So keep an eye out. We're going to have not just a... We're going to have a, a sneak peek today, so a mod review today. And then tomorrow, we'll have another one pop out. I'm going to give you a little bit of extra time, but I'm going to pre-record this uh, a day early. 
All right, so um, I want to get in and get this done early because ATS comes out this week, and we want to be focusing on that on um, Wednesday when it comes out. So that's why we're doing it a bit early this week. But uh, all good, all good. At least we're getting those, getting them in there. That's the main thing. All right, guys. Well, look, that is pretty much it for me. Look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 10-10 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we're taking a look at Flight Simulator X and I'm learning to fly. Just down there it's the weekly drive and we're driving the Volvo FH12. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers and remember, game on!